Hello everyone, welcome to another Inventor tutorial. In this video, I will continue with iParts. This bolt is created in my first lesson. This is the second lesson. What I'm going to do today is to add more configuration to this bolt. Last week, we created M5 bolt with 5 lengths 8, 10, 12, 16, and 20. Today I will create M6 configuration on the same bolt with different length. Let's get started and stay tuned. Uh, before that I will just add few uh, features to make this look better. I will add fillet 0.5 millimeter onto the top edge of the head and also I will add chamfer 0.5 at the bottom of the bolt this will not be changing with the configurations but these two features are not very much affecting in the design process so we don't have to worry much about that so in order to add m6 click on this table right click and go to edit table now you can see last week we changed only the length so whatever the parameters that are added to this right hand side window can be edited on, on this table. Now we have only length. So we need to add the rest of the dimensions. Because when we change the diameter of the bolt, all these diameter dimensions are going to be changed. So before that what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some label to each dimensions. We have to use all these dimensions in order to create the next uh, configuration of these eye parts. So I'm going to label them for us to make easy to understand each time when we look at each parameters. So to do that, you have more than few way of doing that. You can go to the sketch and you can right click and edit sketch and you can change all these labels you can make this one this is already changed as length and you can add this one this is D1 when you hover your mouse you can see the label of the dimension so I'm going to do is what I'm going to do is I will label this one as head head thickness you can't keep any space uh, you just have to avoid all these spaces when you label each dimensions head thickness click ok this is one way of doing this I will show you the other way of doing this you can use this uh, parameter command when you click on this parameter command, the parameter dialog box pops up. So in here you can see we changed this length of the table last week and also today we add label for the head thickness. Now I'm going to add the label using this parameter dialog box. So you can see this is the bolt diameter. Last time it was M5. So we, we need to use this one also with the label because we are going to make it 6 today M6 so I will type it as diameter and you can see this the next dimensions D5 is 4.02 if you look at this table uh, the 4.02 is the S which is the slot size so I will rename this one as a slot size and the next dimension is 2.5 if you look at this table which is the key engagement thickness which is T uh, then I will type this one as slot depth and the next dimension is the extrusion which is uh, 0 degrees we don't need that one and the fillet and the chamfer also we don't need and the D0 which is 8.28 divided by 2 
which is 8.28 divided by 2 is d2 which is the head diameter so i will change uh, d0 as head diameter i will make all the first letters capital to make it more neat and uh, now all the dimensions are added we have one two three four five six dimensions to be changed when we change the diameter of the bolt here i have highlighted one two three four five six dimensions so now all the dimensions we want to change with each para configurations are changed now click ok done so now you can go to the table right click on the table edit table so in order to add those parameters into each configuration we need to bring them onto right hand side so i will click on diameter i can click this arrow to bring it to the right and head diameter i will bring it to the right and head thickness click on this arrow if you want to bring it to the other side if you want if you don't want these parameters you can select those parameters and click on this arrow and the length is already there then go to extrusion slot depth and slot size we have got one two three four five six parameters that are needed to be changed with the diameter of the bolt now you can see here we have got five um, configurations of m5 i part now we need another five configuration for m6 so what i'm going to do is add five more rows right click insert row right click insert row keep adding until you have five more new rows now let's change the label of the member member name which need to be m m6 by uh, first length is 10 i'll change it to 10 and the next one click ok and the next one would be m6 by m6 by uh, 12 and the next one would be m6 by 16 and the fourth one is m6 by 20 and the last one is m6 by 25 so let's change the part number as well accordingly so i'm going to copy this one dia912 m6 by 10 and here it is m6 by 12 just copy and paste and change the length m6 by 16 m6 by 20 and m6 by 25 now focus on these parameters so we are going to change this length column first so here m6 by 10 change this to 10 m6 by 12 change this to 12 m6 by 16 m6 by 20 m6 by 25 and next the diameter diameter all these are going to be 6 for the m6 bolt we are going to change the diameter to 6 millimeter divided 6 millimeter then the radius would be 6 divided by 2 and the head diameter again which is uh, d2 uh, for the m5 bolt the d2 is 8.28 for m6 bolt d2 is 9.78 so I'm going to change this to 9.78 change all of those uh, rows which has M6 bolt 9.78 and 9.78 and the head thickness again which is K earlier it was 4.82 now for the M6 bolt which is 5.7 so I'm going to change this one to 5.7 5 
and again here 5.7 you can either keep the millimeter or you can remove it it, it is it, it really doesn't matter it will consider it will count as millimeter 5.7 and the slot depth again which is uh, T a T for earlier one for M5 bolt T is 2.5 the new one T is 3 so I'm going to change this slot depth to 3 3 millimeter change all of them and the last one is slot size for the slot size S which is for M5 4.02 and for the new one 5.02 I'm going to change this one to 5.02 so once you change all these parameters in this table what this software gonna do is it will count each row as a one configurations so now at the end of this table creations in this model tree the table would be updated with five more configurations so then it would be m5 by 8 10 12 16 20 and m6 by again 10 12 16 20 and 25 so these are added to this ipad so let's see what will happen just click ok and look at this feature tree the table here we go you have added five more parts to the same ipad you can call this one configurations as well as instant of the iPods it's really not doesn't matter so now you have got uh, 10 configuration for this DIN912 iPods let's see how we can add this bolt to the assembly file before that let's click on each um, bolt and see how it is going to be changed with the each click so this is m6 you can check the diameter you can see which is diameter is m6 if you go to the m5 again you can see the diameter is going to be changed so the this diameter is m5 and also the length is going is changing with each click of this table command so let's open up a assembly file I will open up this uh, this assembly and uh, let's try to bring each um, bolt into this assembly each instance of the bolt so I'm going to place I'm going to click on this uh, uh, bolt which is uh, it should be this one or it should be this one I will click on this and click OK if you go to the table which has only five I think it's the other one I'm going to go to the other folder select this one this is the bolt that I just edited and click open you can see all these uh, uh, instances are added into this table with M5 and M6 so I'm going to place M6 by 25 and then you can click OK and then click uh, M6 by 20 OK and M6 by 16 M6 by 12 M6 by 10 and similarly you can import m5 by 20 m5 by 16 m5 by 12 m5 by 10 m5 by 8 so i'm not going to assemble each uh, instances today i'll just click on dismiss and when you click on when you see all these diameters you can see those are completely different instances of the same part in the next video I'm going to show you how to add 
threads and material as well to the same i part so that you will have m5 by 6 bolt with metric thread m5 by 6 bolt uh, with imperial thread as well similarly for the m6 also i will add different thread types so that you can bring each instances into the assembly i hope this is useful if you find my video is useful uh, please hit the like button and subscribe the channel so that uh, you will not miss my next video until we meet again bye everyone thank you for watching